In this lecture on C++, we will learn about passing classes to functions, okay? So we will learn how we can pass class objects to functions, okay? Because functions are very helpful in manipulating data, okay? And processing them. So when a class instance is passed by reference, so changes are reflected in the original, okay? So this is a very important fact that when a class instance, if you are passing it by reference, so changes are reflected in the original one. Okay. So let's little bit talk about what is reference to an object. Okay. So what is reference? So for example, if there is a function, okay, which returns int and let's say it changes it the name is change int okay and you pass an int okay so int ampersand i so now whatever you will write so let's say i double it so i is equal to 2i so what will happen this change will be reflected when we come out of the function so this ampersand okay helps me so it's very similar to reference is very similar to the pointer object okay so what happens is when we are changing this i here so we are actually changing it in the memory location where original i is stored so this is this ampersand says that there is this is not a copy of i okay so this is not a copy of i but it is directly the memory location of i okay so this is the meaning of a reference okay so here whatever we pass as reference it the change that is made in the function will be reflected when we come out of the function okay so let's see now so when a class instance is passed as a reference changes are reflected so that's true because class objects also when we pass it as reference if you change them it will be reflected so for example, let's see first one of the example here where what we do is passing by value passes a copy of the class instance to the function and changes are not preserved. Okay, so this is an important point as well. Okay, so passing classes to functions. So passing by value, what it does is it passes a copy of the class instance okay, to the function and changes of course will not be preserved okay so they give one example here so there is a class point which has now two values the x and y coordinates of the point they are type double now what happens is so your class stores binds the two related values that are the x and y coordinates for your point let's say 3 comma 4 another point is 5 comma 6 so this class now till now whatever we have studied so this class will help you define this point okay define the x and y coordinate and all but now let's say we want a function okay which makes an offset so if the x coordinate is x it will add x plus delta x to it if the y coordinate is y it will add a offset delta y to it okay so this is what we want so if you have to do that so what we will do we will make a function as we have done in c pass the class okay the variable point p okay which is the class variable or the class instance now we do p dot x is equal to p dot x plus x okay that is the offset and p dot y is plus equal to y so p dot y is also p dot y plus y so what happens here is again so this point p so this is a class variable so what happens is this basically a copy is made for by pass by value a copy of p is made okay so whatever was the real argument that we passed so instead of that a copy is passed for that point and the changes are made in that copy itself so nothing will be visible in your 
result okay so let's see that thing so if we see here so if you see in we make a point p p dot x is assigned 3 and p dot y is assigned 4 dot 0 okay now we do offset point p 1 and 2 okay so what happens let's try to see a bit of this okay what happens inside the memory so we have a point okay point p is assigned now this p has double x and double y okay so let's say that double our double is let's say 8 byte and your memory one memory location stores one byte in it okay so what will happen is let's say we have our memory and we start at let's say 1000 byte okay 1000 memory location so 1000 to 1007 will be taken by the byte okay the double x okay double x will occupy this one okay because one memory cell provides memory location for one byte okay so double x will take this one then let's say we start from 1008 so till 1015 it will be the next y will be there okay so this is there so what happens now so double x and y so we have this in the class but now what happens this is the point p this is for point p now what happens is offset point p1 comma 0 and 2 comma 0 if we pass so this tries to copy somewhere else okay so let's say at 2000 till 2007 the copy of this point p is made and x dash is stored there and similarly from 2008 to 2000 15 the copy of y is stored okay so whatever this offset is being done let's say offset of 1 and 2 so this will be made here so this x dash will become now 3 plus 1 4 y dash will become so 4 plus 2 6 okay but what will happen when we come back in this value so value here that was 3 and value here that was 4 does not change at all okay so this is the problem so what we do we just have an ampersand sign here if you put so what will it become now so a copy is not made okay if you put pass by reference by putting ampersand so copy of this is not made in the memory location 2000 to 2007 and 2008 to 2015 okay but this value itself is changed and this offset of 1 is added here so this becomes 4 and offset of 2 is added here so this becomes a 6 okay so your work is done okay so we see that okay when we have a class and its data attributes we can use a function and pass by reference to change those okay so that is what is being done here if you see void offset point we are passing now the reference so this is the important point here and now your data will be changed so now if you see so it becomes 4 and 6 so this is the important point okay so we see here that okay so when you have to make some operations on the data members in a class so we can use some functions to do that okay so this is the basic idea but in the next class we see that till now what we are doing so one important thing is we saw that of course we want to process the entities that are stored in class okay but to process we are using a function okay where we pass pass a reference reference to the object but what we say that instead of passing a reference to the function we will have our own functions okay member functions in the class itself okay we will have member functions in the class itself and it will help us in processing the attributes of the class okay so i hope you understand this thanks a lot